Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another episode. It's about day four billion in the boat yard. We're still in Mexico and we're still here getting all our boat back together. So there's a lot going on. We've got a lot of little jobs to do before we actually get the rig back on. It should be happening very soon, but it's not happening just yet. A few more things to arrive, a few more things to come, but it will come together. So stay tuned. We are so close about getting back in the water. It's so exciting. Let's get into it. We're an Australian family that set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. All right, so this is the before. We are going to Kiwi Grip our decks. This was not a job we were going to do, but we are going to do it. And it'll look super nice. This deck is super slippery, so it'll be a lot safer than what it is. And we can cover up some of these things we've had to fix on the deck and old fixtures and all the all the things. Can tell us all about it honey? Like Sarah said there's a lot of this sort of stuff. There's a lot of like epoxy bits and there's a lot of screw holes that were going from the uh, inside out. Just a lot of like crazing and just bits and pieces that will just give a little bit of a tidy up, roll over some kiwi grip and uh, call it done. It'll just tidy it up and just make it look yeah, nice. So what Bella is doing is she's getting out all of the silicon that was in here. There was a bead of silicon along the edge of the teak. And what we also have to do is open up these holes a little bit more. That is where our chain plates come out and they are a little bit bigger. So we got to make them uh, the holes a little bit bigger. So there's some preparation that's going on. And that is what we are doing this afternoon. It's nice and cool, it's about 6 in the afternoon, so we'll keep going until it's dark. It's the best time to uh, get the jobs done here in Porto Penasco when it's uh, 40 degrees in the middle of the day. I think it was high 30s today, 38 or something, so about it was 101. 105, or was it 101? 105? I think it was 105. Solar panel off the side here yesterday and it looks so nice. The back of the boat looks so nice, it's so open. We're trying to work out whether we need to put it back on. Like this one over here. Yeah, they're not real functional. They set up like that. Like it is solar, but you can't walk down the side. And if we adjust them and put them down lower when you're tying up, it's harder to get the lines in for the cleats. So just a little bit annoying, but it is solar. And you do like to have as much solar as possible, but we may see how we go without them. But we get a lot more use of that chair that you're sitting on right now without them there. Yeah, so they're like, I think they're like 180 watt solar panels. So maybe 150 we're getting out of them or less. So maybe we're losing, even say we get 100 out of each one because they're older. We might be losing two to 300 watts of solar. But to gain a nice little space at the back here, not have to worry about the sea hitting it or um, being able to tie up properly to the cleats, we might give it a miss for a little bit and see how we travel. So you guys know the masts, both the masts are on the ground and we're slowly putting all the pieces back together so that we can put our masts back on and get our rigging on. Um, our standing rigging arrived. Yesterday was our anniversary and to celebrate we came up to Arizona to pick up our rigging today. 20 years. And I got were. a whole kit of rigging guys. And we had a lovely night in a cheap hotel last night. <laughs> and we're so excited. We've still got a waiting on our chain plates and a few other things to arrive. So we can't put it on yet, but this is one step closer. Massive thank you to Chuck and Deb for receiving all of our stuff. Like we've got so much stuff to your house. Thank you so much. We appreciate you guys a ton. So yeah, let's get everything. Woo. Yeah, it's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And shiny. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, very exciting. It's like Christmas for you. <laughs> Alright, so Lee's gonna pull it all apart and we'll stack it in the car because it's not gonna fit in just like this. We've gotta get it into this car. <laughs> so it should work, it'll be fine. We'll get it into the boot and happy days. Oh. <laughs> Happy 
really? god. <laughs> so shiny. Oh, Catalba's gonna look so nice. <laughs> So these are our lifelines. Safety first. Safety first, ours are so dodgy. They were gonna break any second. Yeah. So now it might save, save <laughs> someone's <laughs> life. <laughs> so they do deteriorate. It's fitting, it's fitting. <laughs> all right, it's all in very nicely. And uh, we're just gonna put all our stuff in and <laughs> Hopefully we'll be good to go. Thank you so much to Hammer Marine. We are so stoked. Uh, we are just waiting now on our chain plates. They have also arrived in Phoenix, thanks to Schaefer Marine, but we haven't got them yet. So what we're doing is putting all of the little pieces like we did last episode on the mast. We're gonna continue that. We've also got an epoxy where the chain plates are going because we had to widen it a little bit because Schaefer Marine made them even more beefier and stronger than they were. So we're super stoked on that. We've got to replace our lifelines. So all our stanchions are a little bit loose, a little bit dodgy. So Taj is actually gonna pull them all off. Boy's just gonna assess them. And then he's gonna polish them all up so that everything looks so good. These are stanchions. So we're gonna take all of the lifelines off this afternoon and assess the stanchion. That's the bottom of one and they're pretty rusty because I think they were loose in where they sat so it kind of piled up with water. That's one and that's another one. So they're not all bad but we're just going to work out how many are actually no good. All right we're removing the covers so we can get access to this whole area. There's lots to do here. The decks are in pretty poor shape. There's lots of holes and bits that we're going to have epoxied up and tidy up so we're going to give the coat a coat of uh, kiwi grip on the decks to freshen it up also our lifelines as you can see is the old-fashioned plastic coated line which is rotten and we don't want to fall on this on the safety line at the best of times let alone when they're like this they're probably just ready to snap we're also going to get Taj on to polishing up our stanchions. Now the bases are pretty heavily corroded around the bottoms there. We didn't really want to drop our safety lines but we're going to knock an inch off so we can get back to some fresh stuff. Because these are really corroded around here and we're worried if you do fall on them that we don't want them to break. Well, there's a lot of water in there and it is completely pitted around just where it meets the top there. So its weakest point is right around here. So if we're gonna lean on them really hard, um, I don't know how well the camera shows it up, but this one here is like Nelly pitted right through. And some of the other ones you can actually see through there with the pitting. So they're probably 40 years old. So what we're going to do is remove the pitted part, polish up the rest of it and put it back on. They're just going to be a little bit shorter all the way around the boat. See what that looks like. We can always fix it up down the track. But for now, just to get in the water, we'll chop them down so they're nice and strong, polish them up so that we can complement the new Hammer lifelines. So we're finally going to be fixing the last little bit of rot that is in the deck and it's just above my room. There's a block with some rollers on it. So that's probably where the leak has come in from because someone didn't seal it properly. So we're gonna have to go take a part of my roof down, undo the block and see how bad it is. Let's go. Are you gonna help us? All right, we're gonna take off Bella's roof. You gonna help? All right, so it's really annoying when you gotta do something in one of the bedrooms because it's always a dirty mess and it's on top of a bed. Very inconvenient, isn't it, Belle? So where it is, is underneath, underneath here. So we're gonna have to unscrew the roof. 
and Moritai. Can you go get the screw driver, please? Anyway, that's the problem bolt right there and it's obviously been leaking because there's moisture we can see through here but we won't know exactly until at least like opens it up but there's a previous fix over here hopefully that's done properly looks pretty old that's what we're doing today and this should be the last it's, it's the last of the soft spots the last of the deck problem for now anyway Moshai, can I have a He's spinner helping. ready pass it to me okay have this one Thank you. So Taj has done a bloody beautiful job there of polishing up these old staunchions. We've cut the bases off like so, so we don't have that weak point that was heavily pitted and corroded. So if anyone leans on this, it's not going to snap at that point. So we'll get rid of those. No one below. They are gone. Now we're going to run our new lifelines on now. So we've got some protection while we're working on cleaning up the decks and then putting our non-skid on. Before we start on any rigging, on the mast and the mizzen, we're going to install our lifelines and we're going to show you what they look like. So let's get these on. There's not a lot to look for in safety lines. As long as you've got that little sign there, it says hammer, you know your lifelines are gonna work. We'll open these up to like a third, so two thirds out and a third in. And then we can tighten them up. That's one end. And then uh, down to the other end. Good are these lifelines and they're nice and shiny and are going to keep us safe from falling overboard so thanks so much for watching that video i hope you enjoyed all right guys we just wanted to say a huge massive whopping big thank you to everybody patrons sponsors uh, everyone that has actually helped us get to this stage i'm going to call it 95 percent back on the water we're just about there we've just got to tidy up all the loose ends and put on the bits and pieces yeah we're so excited and yeah we are just overwhelmed by the support that we've had and we couldn't have got this far without everybody and we're not going to get back in the water without you all and we appreciate you special thanks to hammer this week we got our lifelines on they look shiny and safe they look so good they we feel really so good. much safer with them on we, we took haven't. them off and they were like it was kind of scary not having lifelines and our ones that were on there before were 
yeah. really bad. They would have not saved our lives. Plastic coated rusty ones from the 20th century. So, so massive thank you to Hem and Marine for having our backs and we, replacing our lifelines. We are super stoked. So thank we you. We haven't got that. to our rigging yet, but it is here. We do have all of it. I'll give you a oh, little sneak, sneak peek. peek. Oh, sneak peek. <gasps> it's so oh. shiny. We used Hammer Marine on our first boat, if you guys remember way, way back. Way, 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 years ago. Before we got hit by every storm and cyclone and everything on our way to Indonesia. It was and still looking fantastic when we got off because right. for like six years later, seven six, years seven later. Seven years later, we sold the boat. It still looked like brand new. It was awesome. We had no problems with it. There was no sign of any sign of letting go. And that's why we went with them again. And so, we're um, super pumped to get our sailing rigging on. We also have our running rigging. Yeah. Thanks to Precision Sails. If you didn't know, they provide more than just sails. There is a whole other side to their website. So if you're a cruiser, a cruiser go check side to their website, we should say. A lot yeah. of good quality cruising gear, lines and uh, all sorts of stuff. But we've got so many amazing brands backing us. Not only are our patrons that are amazing, we are super, super grateful. We have some incredible sponsors that are the reason we're going to get back on the water and be nice and safe and be able to cross oceans and do all these things. So again, we're going to wrap it up because we got to go. We're hot and sweaty. We're going to keep moving. We're going to keep moving, but we all love right. you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.